Greetings from the Grave. I'm Haddonfield's homeboy, Jamie Myers. And I'm the killer kid from Crystal Lake, Zero Voorhees. And this is Astro Zombies Presents Horror from the Grave on Psychopath TV. Now we got some uh, remake news. Yeah. Now this is an older, older, older film, which we're kind of cool with remakes. When it comes to these old ones, like Wolfman with Benicio Del Toro. Creature from the Black Lagoon, which is highly anticipated as a remake. I'm not ready for that one. I am. That was the first horror movie I ever saw. It's black and white. It's better than a Friday the 13th Nightmare on Elm Street remake any day of the week. So, I mean, who knows? It'll never, ever, yeah. It'll never, ever take away from the the true Creature from the Black Lagoon. Black and white. My old lady will feel how we feel about a Friday the 13th and the Nightmares so she likes all that older shit more, so see what I mean? She has all that shit inked on her body. So. She does. So she will feel what we feel. So I don't, I, I don't want it, because I, I don't want her to have to go through a possible bad movie. Well, it hasn't been greenlit yet. It's still speculatory at this stage. However, one that has been confirmed, and uh, with the anticipation of Dr. Jekyll, or I'm sorry, I almost gave it away. Wolfman. Not Wolfman. The uh, Sherlock Holmes with Robert Downey Jr. Oh, yeah. And I think Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. Uh, they've decided to go ahead and put Keanu Reeves in Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. We know too much. We know too much. We've gone too far. You said we've gone too fucking far, We've man. gone too far, man. <laughs> So, yeah, Keanu Reeves is going to be in the remake of the classic Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So, I feel the change. Uh, I'm an FBI agent. That's the Hyde side. The Dr. Jekyll is the villain Ted's. Whoa. (laughs) That would make no sense. But anyway... We're going to keep our eyes open on this one. Uh, Keanu Reeves is obviously a big name. And the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde remake. All right. But you can tell it's because of Wolfman and Benicio Del Toro that it's like one will come out and then there'll be three uh, coat tag, coat riders right after it. So kind of knew it was coming. The Keanu Reeves part, didn't see that coming. No. But it does come in threes. You got Wolfman with Benicio Del Toro. You got Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde with Keanu Reeves. And then you got the next What the Fuck movie, Piranha. Oh. The Piranha remake has got mega stars. Not just, I've done the CW and UPN. I mean, he's got mega, mega stars. We're talking stars like Richard Big Dick Dreyfus. You all know who he is. If you don't know who he is, I can't believe you don't know who he is. From Stakeout. <laughs> also from Jaws. Down and out in Beverly Hills. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Richard. Big Dick. Dreyfus. There you go. Also, Jerry O'Connell. The fat kid from Stand By Me. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Fat ass from... From... from yeah. Vern. Vern, yeah. The, the penny collector. Yeah. Fucking Vern almost got ran over by the train. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Shit, man. So, there's that. And also, Elizabeth, how dare you break Daniel LaRusso's heart shoe? Who's yeah. been in mega, mega big movies up and down the board. Cocktail. 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 Fucking rules. Yeah, dude. I just to stay there. <laughs> <laughs> the Karate Kid Part 1. Um... Adventures in Babysitting, wasn't that right? Yeah, dude, that's, that's, right. that's a good one. Chris Parker, bro. I, yeah. I love that shit. So, you know, in Piranha, though. I know, a shitty movie. And, and I've said before, Piranha did not do that well in the 70s when it came out. So the remakes, well, it'll, the remake will probably do good, but... Well, of course it is, because it's got... How did they... Who signed the budget for a Piranha remake to get that much, to get these kind of people in it, but you can't think of a movie... To put them in that's not a remake? Yeah, exactly. Hollywood. You know what's going to happen? We need to have a talk. Seriously, it's intervention time. This is getting out of hand. You got me smoking menthols now. You know what's going to happen? This is what's going to happen. People are going to be like, oh yeah, that Piranha movie was fucking good because they only saw it that one time so it was really terrible. So yeah. now you know 30 fucking years later. It looked like it was filmed in a dirty fishbowl. 
Yeah. The first piranha? Yeah. It was so grainy and so, like, mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom with the first host. Yeah. It was, like, just real great. You could see, like, the the cinema pop lines, you know, where it has, oh, like, yeah. the squiggles go through and those those white flash uh, burnout spots or oh, whatever. Oh, cigarette burns? Yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what they are. It was just so bad, so I don't know. It, I mean, even the story for Piranha wasn't that good. Yeah, and so people we were going to be like, yeah, that movie was fucking wicked. And they're going to go, oh, no, it wasn't. What the hell were we thinking? It was Jaws that was awesome. Jaws. Jaws. That's the one we wanted to remake. Who did... Who mixed up the guppies with teeth with the fucking shark? Because I want them fired. I want their badge and their pencil on my desk. They're out of here. And we got... Uh, Messengers 2. Here we go. And who was doing Messengers 2? Messengers 2. Now, Messengers 1 was just... Downright awful. Weird and annoying, and it had that chick from Weeds... And then that annoying ass kid, I can't remember. It was, ah, oh, it was just bad. Some dipshit decided to go ahead and greenlight this, and whoever did, it's because Todd Farmer. Todd oh, Farmer. Todd. That's all I can say. Yeah. Todd Farmer has written this. If you don't know who Todd Farmer is, let me go ahead and just break it down to you. Todd Farmer is the genius who wrote Jason X. And also did some of the screenplay and stuff for My Bloody Valentine. 3D. 3D. So, um, I don't see anything good coming out of this. The first one was crap. Todd Farmer is like... I don't know, dude. I don't like him, but I don't hate him. Jason X was like... At least he wrote a lot of kills in it. It's 75% good. 25% yeah. bad. Yeah, because there is a lot of kills. A lot of good kills in that one. But, you know there what's going to happen? A lot of trendy kills. See, I've noticed with, with with these two, whatever he had to do with My Bloody Valentine, I don't know if he had a lot to do with the writing, if he was part of the writing team. No, he was more of the screenplay. Okay, because I've noticed the movies that he's done, they start out real strong, and the end, they just fade out. Yeah, you can and actually like, watch a happened? movie. Yeah, you can actually watch a movie run out of gas. Like, I, I really wasn't <laughs> endorsing Jason going to space, but you know when he got there, he whipped a lot of ass, and then the ending was just, was just ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it was just really goddamn ridiculous. And My Bloody Valentine, too. It you know started what? off strong, then it got dull, then it started picking up again, and then it just crashed on you. Oh, that one crashed bad. Yeah. So, look forward to that if you want to. I really... I'm not going to say one way or the other where to go on this. It's Todd Farmer. Yeah, maybe he should go be a farmer. Yeah, maybe Todd Farmer should stick to farming. <laughs> Since you worked with Jason, you can farm some weed. Because that's pretty much to be Jason's thing now. Yeah, but he's, he's a... Now it's going to be Jason versus, versus Cheech and Chong. He's a street pharmacist. Yeah. Oh, you know they did Abbott and Costello meet the... Invisible Man? Maybe they could do Cheech and Chong meet Jason Voorhees. You know, I wouldn't There's another freebie me. for you, Hollywood. Yep, we got a confirmation of the higher-ups that that's a good idea. Or actually, you know what? Jason meets Harold and Kumar. Harold and Kumar go to Crystal Lake to pick up the weed that all the other people have getting hacked to pieces for. You could easily write this story to come together. Yeah, you could. Harold and Kumar go to Crystal Lake. But I, but, but right I, after Kumar gets back from the White House. But see, what, what, what I'm picture, picturing in my head, though, is... You know how... Uh, Jay and Silent Bob go to Crystal no, Lake. No, 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 no. You know how in fucking... <laughs> in uh, Nice Dreams, Cheech and Chong, they go to that dude that doesn't talk and they keep taking the trash bags and trash cans full of weed? They yeah. Jason's like, you know, we'll pay for it, man. Cheech, picture Cheech all choloed out. You no, know, we could pay for it. Can we have some? And he'd look away, and they'd be like, oh, okay. And then he'd just, like, chop them up. It would be awesome. It'd be a short movie, but it'd be, I'd pay twelve fifty to see that. Yeah, I'd pay twelve fifty to see that as well. <laughs> I'd pay twelve fifty to see Jason shove a Chong Bong up fucking Tommy Chong's... Um, Ass? No, his... Uh, Beard? Uh, no. Um, <laughs> what's that thing? His, his, his urethra. There you go. Oh. That's what oh. I'd, I'd pay to see that, bro. Ah, right up the pee hole. Yep, right up the old pee hole. That's not cool. Anyway, so 
Uh, we'll be back with our information on our latest contest and the Spread the Infection campaign on Horror from the Grave.